Hi, readers. Welcome back to Reader's Workshop. Miss C is going to read you a story before you learn your new skill for today. The story is called Wake Up, Dad. Wake Up, Dad. Kate is up. Nick is up. James is up. Dad is asleep. Kate said, wake up, Dad. I am asleep, said Dad. James said, wake up, Dad. I am asleep, said Dad. Dad, Dad, wake up, said Nick. Wake up, Dad. Look, Mom, look at Dad. Wake up, said Kate. Wake up, said James. Wake up, said Nick. Wake up, said Mom. I am up, said Dad. The end. Thank you so much, Missy, for reading that story. You're welcome. Readers, today I want to teach you that when you read a story, it will tell about a person and an animal, and then that person will do something, then they'll do the next thing, and then finally the story will end. So my friends, we're going to practice um, by, I'm going to tell you a story. But before I tell you the story, I want to tell you something else. And that is that not only pictures and words help you figure out the words and the story in the book, your thinking brain helps you too. So Miss Downey's going to make up a pretend story. And Miss C, can you help try and think about what might come next? Yes. Okay, readers, I want you to be doing this too. So, ready for my story? Yes. All right. The little girl dropped her ice cream cone on the ground. What do you think might happen next? Hmm, I'm going to use my thinking power. I think maybe she will start to cry. Or maybe she will try to pick it up. Nice job. You see that your thinking helps you even before the pictures and words could help you? Yes. Awesome. We're going to try one more time. And I wrote, I might write another story that goes like this. It was my birthday. I walked into the room. I saw lots of kids and a big cake with candles on it. All the kids jumped up and... Missy, mm. what do you think might happen next? I'm going to use my thinking power. Did they maybe yell, surprise? Maybe. What else could have happened next? Hmm. Ooh, maybe they started singing, happy birthday to you. Nice job. Way to use your thinking power to think about what might happen next. All right, my friends. Today, we are going to read a story that we've read before in our kindergarten classroom. And this is a fun mouse story called Pizza. Mouse makes toast. The toast burns. Mouse makes soup. Stop. Don't turn the page. Think. What do you think might happen next? Can you tell me? I think that the soup will burn. All right. Readers, if you think the same thing, show Miss C like this. All right. Let's look, Miss C. <gasps> the soup. Burns. Nice thinking. Thank Let's you. keep going. 
Mouse makes peas. Stop. What do you think might happen next? Hmm. I think the peas will burn. All right. Let's see if this is right. The peas burn. Nice job. Let's finish reading this favorite story. Mouse makes a phone call. Pizza! Awesome. All right, my friends. Today, I want you to be practicing that while you're reading. So while you're reading your stories, before you go to the next page, you're going to stop and think about what might come next. Just like when we played Guess What's Next with your partners in kindergarten, you're going to practice thinking about what comes next to help you read the story. All right, readers. I, I also want to tell you something else and you, that you can do while using your brain to help you understand the story even better. Just like you can stop and think about what happens next while you're reading the story, when you're all done and finished reading the book, you can stop and think about the book because super readers retell. Thumbs up if you know how to retell a book. Awesome. My friends, when we retell books, we say the title of the book, then we tell who, we tell where, and we tell what happened and tell it in order, in the beginning, the middle, and the end. So my friends, we are going to use the book, Wake Up, Dad, that Miss C read to us to tell, retell, and practice retelling. Miss C, will you flip through the book so we can remember what happened? Yes. All right, so we're going to retell the book. The first thing we're going to do is say the title of the book. Wake up, Dad. And now we're going to tell who was in the story. Who were the characters in the story, Miss C? I know the characters were Kate, Nick, James, the mom, and the dad. Awesome. Miss C, can you tell the setting of the story? Can you tell where the story happened? Where the story happened was in the bedroom. Awesome. And now, Miss C, can you help tell what happened and tell it in order? Yes. In the beginning, what happened? In the beginning, Kate, Nick, and James woke up. And they tried to go wake their dad up. What happened in the middle of the story? In the middle of the story, the kids kept trying to wake him up. And then they got their mom to help. What happened at the end of the story? At the end of the story, Nick, James, Kate, and the mom all yelled at their dad to wake up. And he finally woke up. Awesome. So Miss C just retold the story, Wake Up Dad, by telling who, telling where, and telling what happened, and telling it in order at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Readers, today when you're reading, 
I have two important thinking power jobs for you. First, the first thing you're going to do is while you are reading the book, just like we did in the book Pizza, you are going to stop before you turn them to the next page and think about what's going to happen next to help you to help you understand the book and read the book. Then, my friends, when you are all finished with the book, you are going to stop and use your super reader retell power to tell who was in the story, tell where the story happened, and tell what happened in the story and tell it in order. The beginning, the middle, and the end. All right, readers. After this video is over, I want you to read for at least 10 minutes. You can use Raz Kids or Epic or use any leveled books that you have at your home to practice. Happy reading. Bye, Bye. readers. Bye.